Birds, I'm Sarah, welcome to this week's video. Today we are going to draw a picture of Poppy from Trolls in pastel pencils. Let's go. So to start with then, we're looking at the cadets method of drawing and we start with the C, which is choose what we're going to draw, which we've done. And the next bit is to add simple shapes. So we start off with a rugby ball shape and draw it in half and that marks where the eyes and nose are going to be. I've just done simple shapes for the ears, nose and eyes and just doing circles at the moment to mark out where they are. And then we move on to drawing the headband and the hair. Poppy's got really big hair so we have to make sure when we start the drawing that we leave enough room to fit all that in. Then we move on to the body and it's quite a simple shape for the body and arms not too much detail to start with and it's kind of a triangle shape with a little detail um, on her strap there. Her legs are really just kind of rectangles and with a little bit of a shape at the bottom for her feet. And once we've done that we can move on to the details. So just get the basic shape there. Not too much detail as I said just marking out where everything's going to go before we do the next stage which is to add in more details and um, again on her hairband she's got some little flowers which again I've just done as circles to start with to make sure that they're the right size and then build in the petals afterwards um, just adding the detail pattern to her skirt as well which is fairly simple um, and that's about it. So then we go on to using the details and the effects. Now on this one I did say we were going to use the pencils but when I looked at Poppy and I looked at my pencils I thought hmm, we we're going to struggle because I didn't have the right colours that I needed um, in the pencils so I'm using these sticks which are really great colours and they're really vibrant and good to use but maybe a bit more tricky on details like this one. So I tried to use the corner of the stick um, so it could be a bit more precise where I was going and it worked fine. It just made it a little bit more of a challenge for me. Um, then to add the um, smoothness to the picture I used a pencil stamp which I've used before for pastels and this just helps to push the colour into the paper and also give a really smooth look so that you don't see the colour of the paper showing through. I do like using this grey paper with pastels because it does make the details and especially the white areas really stand out. Um, so yeah, and then we go into the details on the headband which is going green and blue for her dress hurrah I've got a pencil for so that made it a bit easier on that bit. The other thing with pastels is that I really do like is that when you do blend them in um, they look really smooth and also they're really good for fluffy areas so areas like her hair on the trolls they've got really fluffy hair and the pastels are great for giving that fluffy look. I then went into adding in with um, paler blue pencil, more detail on her dress and a little bit of highlight on the flowers on her headband. And then after I'd done the main colours in, I went in to do a little bit darker pink around the areas that will be in shadow, so on her arms, on the inside of her legs and blended that in as well. And on the hair, once I've got um, the main colour in, I've gone in with a slightly darker colour just to give it a bit of texture and again make it look a bit more 3D. It's not so flat if you add in different shades of um, colour. And I think this was maybe a bit more red, but um, I think it worked okay. Just areas again that would be darker, so up against the hairband, in between the fingers, and in the ear, under the neck as well, and of course her nose. And then again we use our pencil stump to blend those in so it's really smooth. And 
suppose the other thing with the um, stick pastels is it can be a little bit more messy as well which is a bit of a disadvantage but you just have to be careful with that um, you don't smudge your drawing and I do tend to just blow the excess off after I've pushed it in with the pencil stump so that you don't get it everywhere they're really good though if you're doing a larger area and no doubt we'll do a video about that later on when you're trying to cover a bigger area, you can use them on the side, which is really useful and makes drawing larger areas a lot quicker. And right, I'm back on the pencils now and just adding a little bit of white highlight again to make her hair look more textured. And then I filled in the whites for Rives, which really makes it pop. And then going in with a darker colour on the dress just to give some added. Um, depth to it and shading which again gives a quite nice effect and then I'm using my micron fine liner because um, that does give really nice sharp detail to add to the eye area so her black to the pupils and her eyelashes because you can't quite get that even if you've got a really sharp pastel pencil um, it's quite hard to get that dark black in the right place where you want it so if you haven't got one of these pens any fine liner will do or even a biro I've used that before before I got the um, fine liners and the white again just doing highlights and rather helpfully, you can't see the bottom of the page when I do the legs, but um, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of shading, same as I'm doing with the ears under the arms and um, inside the legs just to show the shadow again. I'm filling in her cheeks and her nose and just blending it all together. I did try here to add a little bit of regular pencil um, to define the areas a bit more, but pencil does tend to reflect quite a lot and the camera was picking up making it look white so I moved on to just using a darker fine pencil. The highlights on her cheeks I did with a white gel pen and then just did some final touches to smudge it all in. Um, at the end I did use a pencil smudger just under her foot that's on the ground to um, show a little bit of shadow and highlight that with white. And there we go, smile, you did it. Well, that's all for today, Art Cadets. I am wearing a scarf now because it has turned so cold that I couldn't continue without putting a scarf on. Um, I hope you liked the video. I did do a little bit of a change to uh, what I'd originally said. I did say we'd be using um, pencil pastels and we did use some of those, but due to the bright colors in Poppy, I didn't have the colors I needed in the fine pencils I used these I had to improvise I think it worked okay just that it's a little bit harder to get detail because these are pretty but quite chunky and probably in future I would use these for bigger drawings so if you've got pencils it will be easier um, next week we'll be doing a last pen, pen I can never say that pastel pencil picture and after that we'll be going into the month of February and looking at colour pencils instead. So hope you can join us. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye.